I get a text from this guy and he sends me a picture of him and this girl and I was like okay and he sent me this big message and I said okay what is it okay so I read it and it was like he said just wanted to let you know I was cheating on you the whole time with this girl right here and I love her so much What's up guys? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I first want to say I'm wearing the same shirt as I was in my last video because I am recording it on the same day because I'm doing multiple in one day now because I'm so friggin great at doing things. Anyways, I don't even know what I just said. This is going to be a video about the time my Tinder date took me to my prom. Interesting, I know. It's not like it was our first date and he just took me to prom. That'd be super, super strange. But no, that's not what happened. So I'm just gonna get right into this video. Okay, I just gotta get myself emotionally prepared for this video. At the time that prom was coming around, I was going through stuff just like all my Tinder date stories. It's like I was in this really stupid relationship. I mean, I'm gonna call it a stupid relationship. I'm s I was so stupid for staying in that relationship for so long. We would get on breaks or whatever because we'd get in really, really, really bad fights and we'd break up, okay? And this is one of the times we broke up for like a month and we didn't talk. And also this video happened about, how old am I now? I was 20. So a year and a half ago, or two years ago almost? When did this happen? Almost two years ago, a year and a half ago, I don't know. I started talking to this guy from Tinder and I'm just gonna say something right now. That guy was such an asshole. I don't know what was going on in my head. First of all, he wasn't attractive at all. And I'm not just saying that. I remember other people even saying, what are you doing? This guy is not attractive. I said, I'm, I don't know what I'm doing. It was really bad. So this guy I was talking to for about a month. He was a college dude. So I was like, oh my God, I'm, I'm hanging out with a college dude. OMG, I'm so cool. I don't, I don't know what was going through my head. I thought his roommate was pretty cool and he had a girlfriend that was super nice. And I was just like, I like these people except for the dude I'm talking to. He wasn't my favorite. So oh my god I don't even like thinking of this story so I remember one day I had already ordered a prom dress because I thought I'd be going with the other idiot that I was telling you about so I had this prom dress that was pretty expensive and so I took a picture and I posted it on my snapchat and I said oh so sad I won't even be able to get to wear this and this guy I was talking to responded to my story and said do you want do you want to go to prom with me? I'll take you to your prom. And I said, really? You go to you take me to my prom? He said, yeah, I can go with you. So, boom, prom date right there. We were still talking. Obviously, he was planning to take me to prom. We had about a month or three weeks, maybe maybe like two to three weeks actually to get ready. So I was hanging out with him, and he needed to get his tux, and he needed to get shit organized. We needed to get his tickets. I didn't have well, we needed to get our tickets, and I'll explain that as well. So, his mom, let me just say this to you first. His mom lived, I think, in California. This was in Washington. He went to, I'm just gonna say, he went to Gonzaga. And his mom told him, I'm gonna give you $300 for prom. Everything, so you can pay for everything for prom. You know, her tickets, or your tickets, your suit, tie, or whatever the frick it is, and then whatever else you need for dinner and crap. So she gave him $300, remember this, please, remember this, okay? So what happened after this was we had to go to my school to go get my tickets and this itself was just so freaking complicated because they were like, well, you don't go to school here. And I'm like, yeah, I do. I'm just in running start, but I'm still enrolled here. Like I'm graduating here. Yes. So that was just annoying. But anyways, we got the tickets and then time rolled around and then he wanted to get his tux. So he went to this super fancy place to spend a ridiculous amount of his money on the tux, which was fine, but it was like, okay, whatever. I think he spent like 150 to $200. He wanted a really expensive one, like a $300 one, and that was all the money she gave him and he was a broke motherfucker, no offense, but he was. So that, I was just like, you do, but whatever. Just, just keep in mind his mom gave him 300 for everything for prom. Not just his suit and tie or whatever, tux, whatever. It was everything, dinner, everything. Anyways, so time starts going. We have plans with my friends. I don't really talk to them anymore though, but I went to prom with two of my friends and their dates. And they had chosen to go to this restaurant that was really expensive and it was not good. We were there for three hours and we were all just getting antsy, like, oh my God, we wanna get out of here. But my date was just, oh my God. 
He got so mad, he ended up getting up during our, our dinner. He got up and he went and talked to someone. And was like, where's our food at, Bob? Like, we're, we're waiting for our food. And my friends are looking at me like, who is this guy that you're on a date with? Why is he so like, why is he so rude? You know, he wasn't very nice, he's getting mad. And then by the end of the dinner, what was really annoying for all of us, but him mostly, was that they added a gratuity tip. So you didn't even get to choose how much you were gonna tip them, they just added it on, which was, okay, we had no idea that they would do that. So it was kind of like, all right, whatever. But it was a little bit pricey. We didn't, it wasn't a huge amount of stuff we got, but it was just a bit pricey. and. I paid for my part of it and he paid for his part of it and I think their dates took care of their food which was embarrassing in a way because it was like, yay, my date doesn't take care of my shit and he's actually like somewhat dating me right now so that's great and we've never been on a date and he literally won't pay for anything, which was fine. He started getting really pissed off after that dinner. He was like, that was so expensive and so stupid. It was only like 40 or $50, which I get it. It's a little pricey but it's, it's not the end of the world. I understand. I think his was probably only 20 bucks or 30 bucks, because he ordered something super cheap and he still had the gratuity tip and he was all mad because we all had separate checks. I'm like, it's not that big of a deal. Your mom gave you money for it, sir. So calm down. And then the prom tickets, I also have to tell you, he did not pay for mine, which was, which was totally fine. But in a way it wasn't because really, really, you're just not gonna pay for my ticket. I mean, I get it, but I don't get it. Cause you're not just like a random person that I'm asking to take me to prom, you're not just a friend either. Like, we're talking, and you offered to take me. So when I hear someone say, I'm gonna take you to prom, and I'm the one driving, and I'm the one taking us to prom, I'm thinking that I'm taking us to prom. You know, except I didn't pay either. I paid for my own stuff. But it's just, it's just the principle of things. If you're gonna, if you're gonna offer to take me to prom, you didn't have to offer. I would've rather not have gone. I'd rather gone with just my friends by myself than you, because you're a dumbass. So we get to prom, and this is where my friends were a little bit annoying because they didn't want to do anything. They just wanted to stand there. That's all I did. My friends just stood there. It, my day was willing to dance with me a little, but he was always trying to do provocative, weird dance shit. I just wanted to slow dance, okay? Not just freaking always, not just weird shit. He just didn't want to dance when it was slow dancing songs. So the night, went on, we were doing our thing, we were all hanging out, it was okay. I mean, I think he knew that I wasn't the happiest. And after that, my friends left and went home and his friends were having like a little after party for us. It was so weird. Just, they all came over and we just hung out, blah, blah, blah. Like after prom, even though none of them were at prom, but it was at their college. My prom was held in like their ballroom or something. And so we just were able to walk to his place. And yeah, I hung out there. And shortly after that, I stopped talking to him and we ended things kind of weird because he was a strange person and he was an asshole. So if you want to know that, I'm gonna explain it really quickly. We, I stopped talking to him. I can't really remember everything I said. I think I kind of told him why. I was like, you know, you're not the nicest. You're kind of stingy. You don't really care. He did drugs too, which was annoying. He didn't just do it. He like did other shit and I was just not having it. You know what I mean? He was just not a good person so that was just great and so I ended up not talking to him I texted him and told him you know we're I'm not gonna come over anymore like you're we're we're just done I mean whatever we even were we weren't even dating like that I mean we were dating but we weren't dating you know what I'm saying it wasn't a real relationship we never did relationshipy things so after that probably four months later I think I get a text from this guy. I should have just blocked him. I really don't know what I was thinking. I get a text from this guy and he sends me a picture of him and this girl. And I was like, okay. And he sent me this big message. And I said, okay, what is it? Okay. So I read it and it was like, I wish I still had this. It was so funny. He said, just wanted to let you know, I was cheating on you the whole time with this girl right here. And I love her so much. And so, yeah, that's basically what it was. He said that he cheated on me. He, I mean, we weren't even dating and he wasn't even talking to someone else. Like I can guarantee you a hundred percent. I could put my life on it that he just started dating this girl. and was like, Hey, will you make this girl jealous? Because she left and left me, blah, blah, blah. And so I kind of clapped back and sent a picture of me with someone else. And that's his history from there. And then I walked him. Cause I just, I kind of found a comical. I was like, um, 
Okay, yes, you were cheating on me, yet this girl, now you're in California. And so you're saying you had a long distance relationship, but you didn't, because I know for a fact you didn't. Like there was, you posted pictures of us on your Instagram of this, of the prom. It just, and, and all of your friends knew me and added me on social medias. And it's like, no. Good try. Good try though. That was, that was a great try of making me jealous. First of all, it didn't make me jealous even if you were because, ew. That's ew to him and her, ew. And second of all, just ew. I don't even know what else to say other than ew. 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 I actually, there was no good qualities about that dude. Not even, he wasn't even funny. I need someone funny. My current boyfriend's hilarious. I love him so much. Like, ooh, and he would never do shit like that. But I got so many stories about some really fucking weird ass people and that's just, that's just one of them. He was just a weird dude. I don't know what it was. I, uh, I don't know. So that's basically all that happened when it came to that. I really wish my prom experience would have been with someone that I really liked, you know, and could go back and be like, oh my God, great memories. But no, all those pictures are deleted. So I just don't, that day wasn't memorable for me at all. It just sucked. You know, it just sucked. What a waste of money. What a waste, please someone buy my prom dress. I still have it. Please buy it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, even a little bit, please give it a thumbs up. If you had a really weird prom experience, which I'm sure there's other people that had weird prom experiences. I haven't seen a lot of videos like that though. But if you went to prom with a weird dude or someone you didn't really like or just, I don't know, just a weird, I just had a bad experience, please let me know because I'd love to read other people's experiences or watch someone else's video. I'm gonna look that up actually because it just sounds interesting and mine was very weird. So thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you have a great day. Please subscribe and...